Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> It's recording now. I mean, I guess we can try to use this audio. We'll see how it sounds. We'll see how it sounds. You want to just hit him with another three, two, one? Technical difficulties. Three, two, one. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. You hit fucking record? It's recording. Yeah, we're getting out, is. It's recording. We've been talking for fucking 20 minutes. Was it 20 minutes? Uh, it felt like it. 12. We've been talking for goddamn 12, 12 minutes. That's a, that was a good 12 minutes. That was a good 12 minutes. But we will have a better hey, however you know long. What? This is my first podcast I've ever been on, so that's okay. Yeah, practice. that was a fire. That was practice. a fire twelve minutes. Practice. Yeah, that was great. We'll figure out how to use this shit. That was great. We'll figure it out eventually. Just let me know if I have a booger on my nose or something. Technical difficulties. Yeah, Technical you got difficulties. <coughs> you got nothing, brother. You're chilling. Yeah, but good. point is, <laughs> <laughs> point is, um, <laughs> I passed out and I was awoken by my parents. I was laying on the ground. Yeah, you were on the floor. And um, we're talking about because you've seen a movie and you've seen so much blood coming out. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I just want to preface with this that we talked about how we're going to share this with the whole fucking internet and you weren't recording. And now all of a sudden it's like... Wait, you have, you have that one though. I know, but the audio is fucking dog shit on there. I can switch. If you save that audio and turn it into MP4 or Wave, I will it fucking... It goes MP4. I know, but you're not talking into this one. Yeah, that's why. That's why. What's, what's this going into? The computer. Give it to me. No, but he wasn't separate. even recording. Huh? I wasn't even recording on that. Oh, so it sounds so like shit. We can, like we can shit. try to pull yeah. audio off of this to Whatever. see how it sounds, but we'll see. We'll see. Anywho, anyway, I thought that was fucking hilarious fuck. that we're like, <laughs> this is some insider, insider trading shit right here. Hey, it still was. It still was. <laughs> fuck you. You're going to get to know now. Two thirds of it. They'll never fucking know what it is now. Hoser passed out from a movie. That's it. You know what? That was like. That, that 12 that minutes is, no, that 12 minutes, that's like secret daddy's dungeon pot. You some get, lore that's, shit. That's yeah, like, that's secret that's lore. Like the, that's that's some Patreon shit. shit. Patreon that's shit. That's secret, so you know, you, oh, yeah, that one will have it, but nothing else will. Yeah, you're right. So, How do you feel about exclusivity? I love it. You I'm love a, it? In I'm, what sense? I'm a Star Wars fan. I love exclusive Star Wars stuff. I love to see like... When people have like exclusive movie stuff like that's came out of the movie like the actual oh. movie like the r2d2 piece or like a piece of like shoulder pad or something that came from one of the soldiers like dude that's i i trip out on that did you ever see our photos together me and hoser on the daddy's gone dungeon podcast for the for the sideshow for the sideshow did, um it was, wasn't it during christmas around there i think and I think yeah so. hoser's like doing like a, a piece sign up i think probably Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I, I always look at your guys' shit. No, but this is a long time ago. Yeah, this is a while back. But you guys, don't you guys have it pinned? I don't know if you want to tell them uh, your background or anything with like. Basically, like my uncle owns this company called Sideshow Collectibles. He, he knows about it though. I know about Sideshow. Um, uh, they make toys, really expensive toys. Not toys, they're called collectibles. Right? No, they're really expensive collectibles, and they, they they're like down to the. They're thousands of dollars. I know about thousands. Them. Yeah. I know about Sideshow. Basically, so I took him, Jake, uh, my buddy Daniel, all in a. On a fucking trip over there, mm-hmm. we got to tour the whole place. It was awesome. It was awesome, I'm dude. I'm jealous. That place was amazing. I'm jealous. The crit, all the stories that we're not allowed to tell. So that's when it started trading shit. We're not allowed to tell the stories, but they're fucking sick. Can we tell them after the pod? No. Okay. Signed I'm, an jealous. Idea. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous that you that you got to go there. That's like kind of like going to the Star Wars. Um, what is that? That's like a Star Wars uh, ranch. You guys ever heard about that Star Wars? That ranch? sounds awesome. Star Wars ranch. Star Wars is a, I think it's a Star Wars ranch. I'm not sure if I'm mistaken. Are you heard? Are you sure it's not Skinwalker Ranch? The haunted. No, ranch? I think I think I might get confused. But there's this guy who owns like there's like this biggest Star Wars fan, and he like, owns like like a bunch of Star Wars. Like a, he's probably got like a hangar or warehouse oh, filled yeah, with those dude, things. Oh yeah, he has like the yeah, freeway like, sign. Have you he, seen that? He, he has like the the most expensive Star Wars collection. His whole like fucking the Guinness House. Guinness records, I believe he holds. And he's probably even bought everything you know, from Sideshow. You, know, like huh? you know, like the freeway stuff. I don't know about that. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. He collects like li- like Star Wars like mug. The anything little Star Wars. Oh, anything Star okay. Wars. Okay. Okay. You know, like the freeway like ads. He bought one of those because it had Star Wars on it. Really? He bought it, and it's just in his backyard. Wow. Oh, big ass free billboard. Yeah. A Bill, big ass billboard. You guys, have you guys ever seen on the freeway on the side of the freeway have those? They have those signs, and it says like it, it, it's like kilometers or miles, I believe. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, there's one that in wherever state, but it's 420, and it got stolen so many times that they had to switch it to 419.9. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, hold on. 
Me and Hoser were trying to figure out what those were because when we were driving on uh, to Kentucky, I don't know what they are. I think it's to tell truck drivers how far they've been traveling. Maybe. No, I, I think it's like how far it is to, the, to the state line or something. Ooh, I can't figure it out. One. I really don't because it was like 121. 420 kilometers or miles away. Now, would it say kilometers? I don't know. Or would it just say remember. miles because we're I, in America? I, I don't remember. Uh, it, was, it was in America, though, so it's miles. I don't even know if it was in America. It I was just, for sure. I just heard about this somewhere. It was for sure because that's something that we were even questioning about, questioning when we were driving to and yeah. from Kentucky. Uh-huh. Seeing those long signs. Those, those white ones, ones, right? Yeah. 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 They're like probably this big. Yeah, dude, exactly. Okay, well, speaking about our trip to Kentucky, would you like to open uh, the, the letter of honor for us? Don't show the camera. Yeah. Just tell us what we owe. So what happened, Joe? What, what, what yeah, happened Yeah, don't here? open it yet. So basically, uh, it was Hoser's turn. It was Hoser's turn to drive. And he woke me up around like 4 in the morning or something. He was like, hey, brother, I went through fucking two, uh, two tolls by accident. And I said, how far you go through two tolls by accident? That was one, by the way. I think he said two. We paid for the second. Ah, uh, okay. Went through a toll by accident. And that's, that's what we owe fucking Oklahoma. Fucking stupid ass city. Yeah, we'll see. Stupid ass state. Open it. If you want to do us the, the honors Just of. Just don't show anybody. Just tell us what the price is. And don't fuck me either. Just tell me the real price. Uh, you know what they're going to do? Oh, it's not bad. They're going to fund their They're going to fund their fucking little league basketball team with that money. Hey, shout out OKC. Dog. And they, you know what? They put, they put us on the map. So it's only supposed to be one, right? I believe so. Because I have two papers in my hand. Okay. See, told you. Oh, are there two? Told you. No, it's only one. Okay. It's one. How, what do we owe? You can put it on the table, bro. You won't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. 80 bucks. I'm going 55. He is out. Oh, dog, come on. It's a receipt? Five, $5.30? Oh, oh, fuck. fuck. Come on. Hey, that was worth like $100 or something. <laughs> you got you guys? Honestly, yeah, you got us. Yeah. That was good. I was thinking like 80 bucks or something. Even, even that would have been a hit to the heart. 80 bucks is a lot. I wouldn't mind going to Kentucky. 80 do- but eighty dollars, you know, that is like the new. Uh, that's the new forty. It was kind of like a culture shock, dude. Eighty bucks is a lot now, dude. Yeah, it is. Like dude, eighty bucks. Do we got four bowls at Chipotle yesterday? It was seventy-seven or seventy-six dollars. Seventy-six dollars. I pay twenty-three dollars at Chipotle minimum because I get double steak usually with queso. And the chips, probably, huh? Fire. I don't know. Oh, yeah, see, dude? I just put them on a case. And it, it gets get chips. and it gets expensive, dude. And then I get an apple juice. I shouldn't get an apple juice. I should drink water at home or get something at home, but I get an apple juice. Oh, you know me, dog. I get a large diet yeah, coke. <laughs> coke Zero. Fire. Fuck. The apple juices. I've never had them from there actually. They're pretty fire. They're just kids' apple juice. I can give you one. It's honest. No, not, no. The little what? No, they sell glass apple juices. They oh, I've never seen that. Where are you going? What Chipotle Fucking are you Chipotle going right to? Here. I used to work at Chipotle. That was my first job. You shipped it up or what? You on the grill? You on the line? I was in the back prepping food and then I was in the line. And then they said, nope, no line for you. So I went to the grill. And then after that, I turned into sheet metal worker. Just like that? Like that. From Chipotle to sheet metal. And then you never looked back. Fuck. How did you even get in the union? I knew, so I used to, uh, so my dad, uh, my dad owns uh, two company, two sheet metal company, uh, I'm sorry, air conditioning companies that are residential. And uh, my big sister has a boyfriend who's into sheet metal. And I, I stopped working with my dad, I talked to my sister, I got into the sheet metal with him. A lot of the foremen I knew uh, in that sheet metal company uh, they told me you're not working there anymore. When they left, they said, "Come with us." I left. I knew I know Foreman and I, and the company I work for. So then you got through the union through that the apprenticeship, through that. Mm-hmm. No, I got in the union through my company through my the company I work for. That's what I mean. Yes, sir. Fuck, dude. That's how I gotta hey, get in. Hey, yes, sir. That's how I gotta fucking get in, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, that's that's how it happens too, because the same similar Someone thing happened. Someone came in there. Me. I became I, I I was hired on. I was hired on as well. And, um, but you start off as a classified worker. Yeah. And then you become an I started off as a classified worker. I yeah. was a classified, classified worker, worker for a year and a half. I started, be- I started working all, uh, in, uh, during COVID. Dude, so they weren't getting any, any students in, huh? Were you, were you working there during COVID? I was. So how, like, well, how did they I, do classes and stuff? Well, uh, before me, he they got did, in before that. They did Zoom. So they did, they yes. did Zoom for a little bit. And I think they did Zoom 
for like two classes. But then after that, um, it had gotten to the point to where we can actually go in, but we're going to take precautions. We're going to wear our masks and all that bullshit. Does anybody even wear masks anymore? Absolutely not. On the job site? Yeah, very, very few and far in between. Oh, uh, wait, uh, yeah. They, I have seen they some, everywhere. yeah. Everywhere in the you know? car. They wear their masks in the car by themselves. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the thing is, on the job site, I mean, I'm not, like, you don't bat an eye at somebody wearing a mask on the job site because there's a bunch of dust in, and in shit. In the car, I look at them like, you know? what are you fucking doing? That, yeah, that's totally off the rails, dude. Uh-huh. And they're all the, uh, they're all alone. Like, judge. that's crazy. I don't judge. I understand if they're like an Uber driver or something, yeah? I you know? guess. Well, yeah, I would understand if they were an Uber driver, too. There's videos of Uber drivers that have plastic in the back of their cars, and they have vents going from their air conditioning units or hole to the back of the car. Yeah. You know, that's pretty lit, though. That's kind of like a that's a homemade taxi. It's pretty cool. But what if you want to tell them something? Like, you have an emergency, and you got to hurry up. I'm sorry, not a homemade taxi, homemade limo. Because you know how limos have those those doors? Oh, yeah. You know, like Home Alone when he asked him to go to the toy store. Yes, yeah, he's tired. Dude. He's eating his pizza in the back. And he met Trump. I Man, said, that... instead, of a, instead of a soda, I have a fat ass beer. What kind of beer? You like Blue Moon? Blue Moon. My favorite. Me and Hoser were discussing this the other day. It's it's great. My favorite. Wasn't it my favorite when I would drink? Yeah. See yeah, what he, I'm well, saying? Yeah, he said that. He, he went from like Blue Moon to PBR. I PBR is far. I love. You know what? That is cheap. That is cheap. It's cool. It's cheap. I don't like Modelo. I used to drink the shit out of I think Modelo's shit. I think so. Flashback, episode one. Episode one, we talked about that shit. That's right. Episode one? Episode one. I seen episode one. I don't remember that. Maybe I didn't watch the whole thing. But that was really... Modelo is shit. Um, I never really drank it. That's hangover beer for me. If I want a hangover, if I want a nice fucking headache, I'll drink a Modelo. (laughs) (laughs) Do you ever long for that? You ever long for the headache? You ever long for a headache in the morning? Fuck no. (laughs) (laughs) I never get headaches when I drink. I drink a lot. I never get headaches. I don't ever get hangovers, actually. Never. That's crazy. You think that's that's probably what's keeping you so youthful, too. It's just your body's regeneration is insanely high. You know what I'm saying? I heal fast. But not even that, because um, you, you would not think he is as old as he is. I'm 194. Exactly. <laughs> you would not think he. You would not think he's 194. Uh, I forgot what I was I think you're 31. Fuck no. What? I'm not that old. Oh, 29? Yeah. I'm t- no, actually, I'm 28. I'm gonna be 29 in October. Are you sure you're sure these motherfuckers like 55 years old or something? No, but the thing is, like, <laughs> but he looks like he's our age. You know, he looks. Uh, yeah, he looks. Or, you, or you look youthful. Yeah, you look youthful, dude. No, I th- I I have features on. Uh, okay. It's like you got it. It's like you got your hands on some adrenochrome or I something. Did. I did. Oh, whoa. Can I, can I come during editing? Can I come? Is that okay? Mm-hmm. I'll bring Wendy. I mean, we'll bring some uh, double stack whoppers. Or wait, wait that's, that's, uh. What? That's from, uh. Burger King. Burger King. I have Burger King. What, years. Do, what do they have at, uh, at Wendy's? Uh, what, what's one? Bur- double Baconator. Stack. Baconator. No, but they have double stack. Yeah, Baconator. So, double break, double stack Baconator with a pretzel bun. I think they already there. are double stacked. I don't know. Well, they have double and triple. Alright. But oh, fuck. Pretzel bun. Pretzel bun. The pretzel gotta get the pretzel bun. I was that telling, is my shit. I love it. I was it. telling Hoser uh, the other day that at um oh. we have this garlic burger fire. Where's our around here? There isn't it's right by your house in Rancho, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cut that one out. <laughs> 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 Just walked right into that one, jeez. Doors open, yeah. doors wide open. Never mind. I'm from in the Inland Empire where the best shit come from. We got bakers. Staters. We got staters. Hey, bakers? And McDonald's. Well, uh, we got McDonald's, but best of all, we got... Del Taco. I was going to say Daddy's Dungeon, baby. Oh, I like that. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a big-ass truck. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> hey, where are they from? The IE, baby. Yeah, but where, where, where? Oh, I, I don't... I, they're like... I think the... Hey, you love big ass truck. Is the whole IE nine oh nine? No, I fucking love big it's not. Truck. You have like the nine five one. Where's the, where's that? Uh, Riverside. Is it? What else is there? Most of this area is nine oh nine. Like everything here, like Ontario, Rancho, all that shit's all nine oh nine. Really? I think you meet up to Pomona and Montclair, uh-huh. maybe. What do you think? What what, what what's West Covina? That's not IE, is it? Nah, Ooh. that's not IE. Claremont is already LA County. I think it starts in Pomona. That's when the Inland Empire starts, no? Basically, because, like, literally right at Claremont. Pomona and Claremont are the same fucking thing. They're on the same line. So, yeah, I'm about there, Pomona. When does the Inland Empire start? 
Right here, baby. Right. According to Wikipedia, the boundaries of the Inland Empire are nebulous, but the region is generally defined as the cities of Western Riverside County and Southwestern San Bernardino County, adjacent to the Los Angeles metropolitan area. See, but San Bernardino County is giant. I don't even know what any of that means. See, San Bernardino County starts at Claremont and it goes all the way to Joshua Tree. That's how big it is. I guess it goes almost all the way to Vegas. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree? It's amazing. It is amazing. It's cool. I've never been. No? It's really cool. Out there, you should dude. go. It's not like cool to live out. I mean, I, it's, it's cool not, to live out. It's well, not cool. I think it is depending on where you work. I you don't think so? You don't like the emptiness? It's too empty. Hopefully would agree with me. Emptiness is not the way to go. Do you like that shit? I think for not a prolonged period of time. Okay, so remember we went to the desert? Maybe briefly. You remember we went to the desert? Yeah. Joshua Tree, if you literally just go the... You remember how we turned down and then, and then it was my street? If you just, instead of turning down to the left, you turn right and Joshua Tree's for like two minutes from there. Oh, so it's, it's kind of... It's very similar very to similar, where we but were. But Joshua Tree is just... It's a, it's a national monument uh -huh. or a national park. They have these giant rock forms that people rock climb. Mm -hmm. It's like they're famous. So what about what about that solitude? Do you are you talking about that you wouldn't want you don't like? I wouldn't like living out there all the time because you can't live in Joshua Tree. It's it's a park. Right. But just out there, there's nothing out there. Not really. You can't do anything. No little markets or nothing either. I mean, there's like there's stores and shit, but it's just uh, there's it's not much, not much. So and it's a drive, and it's hot as fuck all the time. Yeah, that's true. But but if you're out there, are you really coming all the way back out to to do your uh, commute, like for work and stuff? Dude, you tell me that people live in Victorville coming out here to. I have an uncle work. who does that. But I feel like I feel like those are. But he doesn't work that far. He works for Tesla, so he'll he'll. I think he he installs like those Tesla. I think he installs those Tesla batteries on, in like airports. Like all the he, yeah the, the chargers yeah huh? the chargers and he and he works like really close to home. Oh okay. That's dope. See, but yeah, he has a reason to be out so, there. So he works in Joshua Tree. I mean, I'm sorry. He lives in Joshua Tree. works in Adelanto. Adelanto. Oh, Adelanto. No idea where that is. Neither do I. Adelanto is like, uh, it's a little uh, further out than Victorville. It's like big, once you keep going like north, uh, you hit uh, Victorville, then you hit Adel Adelanto. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, I don't know. But he has a reason about. to live out there. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, we don't. We don't. No. We don't. have no reason to live out there. Nope. Our only reason would be... Just to buy a banging ass house. See, but my dad loves it out there because he likes the emptiness and no one around. He I loves love that. that shit. I love that. Why do you think? I don't like to be bothered. Yeah, I exactly. like the quietness. There I love to sleep. I have a really hard time sleeping dad? at night. Dad, is that you? And Excuse me. You know, <laughs> you know what though? Uh, do you have a hard time sleeping at night? Yeah, um, I've always, I've always had though. Like, I've always had. I uh, my whole life, I think I've always had a hard time sleeping. Dude, I'm, I go out like a light instantly. Never. And as of on TV and as of lately, yeah. as of lately, I've been um, using a lot of white noise as well, which I feel is contributing to my hearing loss. Hear How me out. It? Hear me out. <laughs> this guy's. <laughs> I have my headphones in. Dog, what are you doing? Are you serious? Five hundred. No, missiles? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No, I have, I have this little. Uh, it's a little baby one. It's ba made for babies. It's literally called Hush, right? Oh, yeah, I used to have one. Yeah. It's, oh, wait. No, it's not Hush. I'm sorry. That's a baby monitor, right? Well, they, they make baby stuff. Okay. Well, it is a baby white noise maker. Uh -huh. And um, whenever, I, whenever I use that, that sound just remains just always in my I head. I think it might be too loud. I think it might be too loud, too. I, I put my Google Home on 40% and I say, hey, Google, play rain sounds for four hours. So I get deep sleep and then it just cuts off. What kind of sounds would you like to listen to while you sleep? Rain sounds. Rain sounds, huh? It's very nice. Rain sounds. White you, noise is a little much. I, did you guys not see? I posted a post on um, Instagram the other day and uh, it was uh, a I, post. I, I love yeah on Instagram. Uh, I'm sorry, story. And I put that I love this sound and those rain sounds outside of my window. Oh, that's right. I remember yeah, right. that. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. But you, what, you like rain sounds, sounds when you're in a car or uh, in, at home? both i love when you turn off your car and it's super quiet yeah i love when you can just post up on a rainy day you turn off your car and you just hear that loud ass rain rocking on your roof oh, i love dude, that i love that that's amazing just like that is it is pretty nice it's, it's calm it's calm it's soothing what's this You guys want to hear what it sounds like when I suck dick? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that shit firsthand. 
I see it. <laughs> I, I see it. I see it. One time. I do it like every episode. I, I, I was, think I was I just telling Jose. I don't. I don't think it's a. It's a. Did you do it on 104, 105? Probably. I think I this think is I a daily it. occurrence thing for him, not just episode. Th- this is not even a daily. It's a. This is a hourly. lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. He's like. He's Bro, not like, a phase, mom. He's like Jonah Hill from Superbad. He can't stop drawing dicks. He <laughs> yeah. can't stop doing this. But surgery. I just can't stop. <laughs> No, hey, tell me why that little kid could draw some of the best cocks I've ever seen in my life. I've seen a very good cock drawn before. Those are beautiful penises drawn. I'll draw a better one. I'll show you my Snapchat. I had a, I had a summer school with this guy. Insane cock drawing. Nah, fuck no. I have a friend. I have a friend. <laughs> I'm going to say his name, and he doesn't give a shit. I'm going to say his name because I've known him for a very long time. His name is Christian. Okay. He can draw, and don't bleep that out. He can draw the best drawings of that. Of a dick. Cool. Now we know. What is it? What is it with us dudes and our infatuation with our cocks <laughs> drawing it everywhere? To be fair, I'm terrible drawing, so I, I, don't, I don't know how good you are at drawing your own dick, but I'm nowhere close. I've never <laughs> seen. I've never seen a girl He's drawing our cocks. I'm not drawing. I, my okay. Cocks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I say. I say mine because mine is eight equals D. That's it. Doesn't go. It doesn't go equal, 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 equal. <laughs> Mine's just equal. Mine's just one equal. How many equals are you? He just said Mine's one equal. One equal? How many, how many equals are you? Two inch punisher, baby. Huh? Two inches. You know what I'm saying? No, and that's I mean, okay. No, I mean like. No, I mean like in, on the porta potty, like when you're drawing. Oh. How many oh. equals are you doing? I don't do equals. I just draw like a, a cylindrical shape. I don't draw on the porta potty. I don't have time. Uh, hose or nose. Yeah, neither do I. I don't have. We don't have time. We don't have time to do that kind of butt fucking tomfoolery. (laughs) But literally, what what's what is what is our infatuation with drawing dicks? I've never I've never seen a girl be like, I'm gonna draw a fucking badge and then do two parentheses. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) That's the quickest badge. Two parentheses, real quick. You know? Yeah, that's a good question. It, it It just shows that like you know you know guys are just more immature. You think so? It's just fucking funny. And Girls ladies, and, and ladies, tune in if you do draw your badge, your boobs, or whatever. Yeah, tell ladies, the story. Yeah, ladies, do you guys fucking draw your badge on the place or, or whatever? tits? Tits? Do you guys draw tits everywhere? You guys know how boys draw cocks on? I on doubt people? if a if a woman were to go in a stall, she'd see a marker drawing in there. I doubt women have even the time to do that. Well, see, they, well, they do also have their own separate stalls on the job site at least. Uh, they have their own separate yeah. porta potties, and they have even locks with keys on and shit. Dude. They, yeah, I feel sexist. Well, no. I do if that does because I'm trans. And he identifies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like what what if someone comes to 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 rape my beautiful starfish? You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like what if it's like hey, your beautiful I, little blowhole? I like Big Deal starfish. I want I want to see Big Deal starfish, and I, I go in the porta potty, and he just knows how to flip the the lock, and I, I get raped. And I was like, I, I have a story. I have a story about that. All right, let's hear it. One time uh, when I was about twenty years old. Um, I was working in downtown LA. I don't know if you guys know are familiar with LA, but I was working on Caesar Chavez Avenue, where the you know where the dragon signs are. And oh yes. So right across the street is a CVS. Did you ever see that? Anyways, I was working right there. I did the oh, I did all the air conditioning in that building, um, and the units too. Don't you don't you love that shit? What? Don't you just love looking at a building? But like, I did that shit. Don't you ever just brag to everybody? Not even brag. Just tell them. I don't brag, but I feel I I feel like it's a good storyteller. Yeah, I do. It's a good storytelling. It's a good conversation starter as well. Conversation starter. You know? Like, if I, when I pass it, like, um, I tell my, my family, and I was like, oh, you see the CVS shit there? Like, oh, I, I, me and another guy, like, another apprentice, two apprentices did the whole building by ourselves. And we were up pretty high, bro. We were using the medium lifts, two lifts, bro, fucking big ass dugs, big ass units. And we used, we used a uh, um, five eighths uh, thread. If you're not familiar with your threading sizes, five eighths is pretty thick and it can hold a lot. It's five eighths, right, Hoser? Something After half inch, I believe it's five eighths. Is that what it is? I don't know how to rate a tape measure, right? honestly. It's five eighths, huh? Yeah, you know what? Okay, so you're familiar? It can hold a lot of weight. These units were huge and we were hanging them on five eighths uh, and it was sketchy. We had to have two of those medium lifts and we were up um, 35 feet high. I mean, I know that's not that high, but it's considering the high. fact that you're on two lifts, uh, carrying this unit with uh, putting them in all thread, you know, but if you're not in construction, you're not going to know what you're doing, uh, what, what I'm talking about, but it was sketchy. My point is, what was my point? That you did that shit and it was cool as fuck and you're telling your family about it and you enjoyed Oh, it. that's right. We we're talking about, do I feel, I, I, it makes a good, it's a good conversation starter. 
Yeah, I don't feel is. accomplished. I don't feel accomplished, accomplished yet. Question, question. You ever go out to a restaurant and you're sitting there with your girl and you're like, damn, this duck work looks like shit. You ever Bro, look at my the girlfriend work? tells me, please talk about something else. <laughs> I do it all the time. That's like the first thing I'm like, and she's all talking like, babe, like, I'm going to order uh, this. I'm going to order a stromboli. I don't know what the hell fucking short is, but you know, order something. And then after that, I'm looking at him. She's like, like, and then I'm like, dude, that shit looks, dude, they, why did they, why did they do that? And then she's like, dude, I just asked you something. Did you not hear Isn't me? it fucking awesome to look at? And then judge it? I don't like to judge it. I, I just, love judging it. I don't like judging it. I just wonder to myself, like, why did you not in your head see that and not wonder to yourself, like, I could have done a little cleaner and taken a little more a little pride into You ever work? seen that where, where they only put four screws, supposed to be eight screws? Hey, Doesn't don't... Doesn't that piss you off? Don't you think in a way that is judging? That's totally judging, by the way. Because because think of the people on America's on America's Got Talent. Hey, maybe you should um, go ahead and raise your pitch a little more when you're singing that note. You know what I mean? That's judging. Although it might not be like a like a real. Although it might not be malicious, it is judging and it is giving them uh, advice. You know what I'm saying? It's called constructive criticism. Constructive criticism, exactly. Yes, 100. percent But sometimes I guess you could be judging. But. but but what were you saying, though? I would, I, I do judge people's. Yeah, but Dylan asked me a question though. He no, asked, I, I'm just asking about your judging. Like, what do you judge about it? What do you can? What do you? I judge, I judge the, the person's character. I'm like, wow, you're you? like, oh, this lazy piece of shit. <laughs> a little bit. I'm well, like, how what did I was you saying not, was, how did you, you didn't see that look like shit? It didn't look like that. What I was saying was, is like, you ever see them put four screws when they're supposed to put eight? You know, and you're like, that's some lazy shit. It depends yeah. on the type of hanger straps I guess you're using because maybe it was mobilized or stabilized. Yeah, I feel like you would know just by looking at it. Yeah, yeah. It, had, it depends on the way it was stabilized because I would think if you were going to put that much screws in something, it has to be stabilized a certain way. Otherwise, don't push that much screws in it. It depends on the size. The size as well. If it's depends a 42 inch duct, oh, dude, you got to have at least 16 screws. You got to have, duct. yeah. 16 screws mandatory. Hey, 42 inches is giant. Oh, it's huge. Yes, it huge it's Did you see the picture yes. on my Instagram that I have of uh, me installing that piece of duct work? Uh-huh. I think that duck, uh, it's not that Can we it's pop it up? A, Can we pop it up here? Of course. Boom, right here to everybody. Um, Dude, I have installed duck work that I can stand in. Huh? I've installed duck work that I can stand in. Holy fuck. Yeah. And but, do you? Yeah. This is a 32 inch piece of duck work I was throwing up and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a small dude. So 32 inch circumference. Circumference in a circle. So if you were to measure from this end of the circle to this end of the circle, that would equal 32 inches and the center would be what, 16? Yes. So what does that say about me as a person that my boy Ricky here followed me and I followed him and I didn't stalk his Instagram? What does that say about me? No, but, uh, well, what does that say about you? I stalked yours, but not, what did you o- see? not only not only because uh, I just want to get to know you. Did you see the very first video I ever posted? I don't remember. You want to watch that one? Yeah. Do you typically exactly. stalk somebody when you follow them? Nope. Do you? No. Typically, it's like, hey, I know this guy. Follow. Or not. Or yeah. decline. Okay, so what about if you know the guy? If you know the guy, yeah. are you going to be looking through stuff? No? I wouldn't, like, look through it like that. I would just be like, oh, like, I just looked through his Instagram, like, real quick. Like, what what, what, like, what are you about? Ah, uh, okay. You know, like, I didn't know I didn't know you, so I went to retarded. Into skateboard. Retarded. <laughs> what are you into skateboarding? Um, you're into metal. What are you into hardcore? Like what, like, what do you do? Like, you know? I feel like I go through phases. I go through phases. I'm going through a hardcore phase right now. Good. Yeah. Thanks to Hoser. You're welcome. Thank you, Hoser. Yeah, but it's not a phase. It's a lifestyle, thanks, baby. Hoser, hey, but I, I got into hardcore ever since I've been, like, like, like eight years old. So, like, who are you listening to when you're eight years old? Joffrey or Cowboy. Uh, sounds- as, I lay, as I lay dying. Uh, um, uh, That's some real gnarly deathcore shit right there. Yeah, I was listening to like I love pig squealing and that. Uh, oh, that's awesome! I love pig. I love my that's favorite. A talent. Hoser showed me a band called um, Corpse Pile. Oh yeah. He's in love with. Them. I love Corpse Pile. That's my favorite. Shout I thought out. Big Ass Truck was your favorite. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> different genres. You know what? They're different genres. Big Ass Truck is like. I said, you know what? Big Ass Truck. As soon as I pull up to work, I'll, I'll play Big Ass Truck and that song. Gets me hyped to big ass You want to know what you want to gets me really hyped? They shout out Rowan. I was just telling Holder what yesterday, bro. You play the first two songs on the on the on the demo. It just gets me so hyped. It's perfect transition, it's as perfect, he said. It's a perfect transition from Ruin to, to fucking uh, Weight on My Shoulders. Hoser got me into Bayway. And Bayway is that band for me. Yeah, they're good. Bayway is the one where it Hoser got me into pulls you out of the you, rut. You got me into Big Boy. 
That song, uh, Ace, Ace of uh, uh, Spades. Fuck you. Hater. Ace. Hater. Ace of Spades is sick. Yeah, it's That's a sword. And then FNS. What does FNS stand for, by the way? Thank you. I've asked this hundreds of times. Fuck. What does FNS stand for? It stands for fuck and Shit. something. It's, I don't know. Who knows? And maybe that's just their lore. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and we'll never know. It will never subscribe know. to their Patreon to find out. Yeah. Y A B. <laughs> Shout out tsunami. Y A B. You're a bitch. You got some great acronyms right there. Yeah, that was my favorite. That was my favorite song until I heard Contempt of Cop. Oh, dude, I am so in love with Contempt of Cop. I have to. I literally, I stopped listening to it because I'm so in love with it that I want to save it. My favorite song is uh, Gate Crashers. Which one? Gate Crashers. Oh, dude, I just heard that song today, actually, my first time. What's it's interesting that you told me that. That song's fucking that song's dope. You got Apple Music, huh? What do you uh, got? What do you got? Spotify. Android? Spotify. Yeah, Android. Spotify. Yeah, it's at the top. Apple Music is amazing, by the way. I don't have Apple. I love Apple Music. I, 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 I say I, that you, picture, by the way. You could still get Apple Music on the Android. I did it for years. That's like wearing Nikes with Adidas socks. You give a fuck. It still worked. You know? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I used to care about that. I used to be like... Matching and shit. Yeah. I care about that. I don't give a fuck. I don't like that. How do you feel about my J's being creased? I don't like Jordans. I will. I don't wear Jordans. What about shoes? Like I wear Converse and what, Vans. What about your? You fuck. Or Shirts? I feel no, you. You seem like an. Air, you seem like an Air nah. Force One type of guy. I wear Air Force Ones. So what I, do you think about what? your fresh, brand new Air Force Ones, oh, white? Oh, dude, I, I take care of them. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, I don't mean to sound like... It's just because I grew up with uh, my dad. He used to teach me, like, to keep your two separate... I used to grew, I grew up skateboarding. So I had my skateboarding shoes, and I had my nice shoes. The reason why I had two separate shoes was because my parents seen that my ripped-up-ass shoes, and I would go to school like that because I was a skateboarder. And obviously, it looks bad on a child when you go to school ripped shoes. So they would, I would have a separate pair of shoes that would look nice. And so I grew up like that, dude. That my parents would like be on me about having nice, keeping my clothes clean. So I do wear. That's the reason why I feel like other kids with Jordan and stuff they tend to dress a little nicer because maybe they had a certain type of parent to teach them to keep their shoes clean. I like don't I think did. I really dress nice at all. I think you do. You dress really nice. I just got a fucking shirt and pants on with some J's. Yeah, that's but you're, just, it's fresh though. Like it's. I know, clean. but they're mega creased. Did you see them? It's cl- huh? Yeah. They're mega creased. Yeah, but you're. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I don't know. Oh, that's what I was asking. Oh, we that's because that's we wear our sneakers here. You're, yeah. you're like dirty Vans, like trend kind of thing. I'm kind of like that. I like dirty Vans, dirty Converse. Yeah, I can that. see I'm that. A dirty Vans, dirty Converse guy. But those are the type of shoes that obviously any shoe you can beat it to the ground. But those are known as the beaters, as the ones that are going to take the punishment. I got my first pair of Vans like two years ago. Ever. First pair. In of life. In life. In life. What kind? What color? Uh, the old school. Comfy Kush, old right? schools. Highs? No. Lows. Not a big fan of lows. I love highs. My favorite are old school highs. They're I, like black and white. Even just of. even when he said that, it popped in my head. I was just gonna say it. I Man, felt like no. I would look like shit in Vans. No, so I, never I think you'll look excellent in them. And he does, especially the way you like. You know how you wear your pants a little bit bigger at the end of your. your I think uh, you look excellent in them, brother. Fucking perfect. I'll check them out. I need a new pair. No, you should. I think you should get some Vans. You get some OG Vans. Hey Vans, you need a bigger fucking sizes because my yeah, toe. Yeah, What size are you? Fourteen. They only go up to thirteen on well the ones that I got. Thirteen and a half, no. If no? you mess no? with Shaq, he'll probably tell you where to get some shoes. Oh, he'll send you some a- lifetime Marshall. supply and yeah. ones. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he'll be like size fourteen. What a bitch. Shout out, shout out, Shaq for doing that. By the way, the and one brand. Yep. Amazing, no, it's dude. Not and one, that's it? a Walmart brand. That, yes, that's his brand. Dude, I, I, I buy sure? Walmart. Yes. I buy and one so. socks. I guarantee you, and one is Shaquille O'Neal's brand. I yeah, that, that, dunk, brand. that dunk logo that he's that is on that's the and one. Yeah, yeah. That that picture was taken when you played for the Orlando Magic. The best Shaq. So where are you getting your sources from? Do you remember this? No, I, I, I can actually... Uh, Shaq actually talked about it. I don't, I don't know the brand name, but Shaq know. talked about... I'm just asking. Yeah, well, Shaq talked about how he couldn't afford a lot of shit growing up, and he wanted to make a shoe that people could afford. You know? So he said, I'll always sell my shoes at Walmart. I used to play basketball because I had a... Shout out my little brother if he ever sees this because I haven't talked to him in years, but... Um, same. I used to right. Um, I used to have a well. I have a little brother, and uh, when I was growing up, we never we never like clicked with each other. We, we were different from each other big time, and uh, even when we used to skateboard with each other, we would never even go with each other skateboarding. Uh-huh. So the only way that I would be able to click with him was by um, posting him up in the fucking. Nah, he was, a, he was a basketball player. Uh-huh. 
he was a basketball player but um even like i would i i would walk i would ask him like i would be, i would like ask him like we're gonna go you know play ball like i'll go with you mm-hmm. and even like on our way walking to the park like he would throw his headphones on and just blast music and totally ignore me just block you out he just wanted, totally, he just wanted to get a fucking yeah he was in his own he was in his own but i i don't care like i let him he's in he, my brother was very to himself um, he, I, I would see him he'd be like you know dancing or whatever but uh, dribbling his ball and I told him a few times, like, I would get upset. I'd tell him, hey, bro, like, why are you wearing your headphones? Like, I'm next to you. Like, I'm walking with you. And he would get upset, and he would take them off and just turn off the music and get mad about it. And so ever since... Because they did the same thing on the trip when I did that. And you know when I see that a lot more nowadays with, with kids. Jose didn't get mad, did he? With with kids that whenever they go out with their parents, I always see them with their earphones in. What? I see people All walking the time. down the street with their earphones on. That's insane to me. Why? Because By themselves? Like with the big ones, not like with one earphone. That's cool. Maybe a phone call comes in. Maybe you're bumping some Bayway or some uh-huh. Big Boy. You well, know, I, you're walking uh, down the street. But I don't two? have, I don't have, I don't have uh, earbuds. Two like earphones is crazy. You think so? I, Why? Let me ask you that. Why? Very dangerous. It very is dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Bro, imagine you're walking anything. down on Olympic Boulevard in Hill. I know you're not familiar with. Maybe you're familiar. Is that where you guys are working right That's now? That's where we're working. It's like by totally, totally familiar with heart that. of downtown Los Angeles. Heart. Uh-huh. One time we had a delivery bro. That delivery literally stopped downtown Los Angeles. Hell yeah. Was um, that the one where where Mark was like, stop, stop? No, 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 not that one. It just happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was he like? Uh-huh. The, 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 the uh-huh. Huh? What was, what was he saying? No, it's because he almost got hit. Yeah, he almost got hit. Like twice, right? Or once? I think twice. It's because people in LA don't give a shit, bro. I mean, obviously, we all need, we all have somewhere to be. We, got somewhere to we all have somewhere to be. Shitty ass construction workers, fucking motherfucking construction workers. Dude. I hate construction workers. They're always on the way, bro. Especially the union ones. <laughs> always. I hate those motherfuckers. Scumbags. That's how they see us, lowest life form, and that's how that's how. Um, how do you know they see you that way? Well, I, I just assume that. I'm not a construction worker, but I I appreciate the construction work. I just assume that. Uh, just I don't know. One time, we had a delivery, and uh, I was standing on the I was standing facing south on uh, in downtown Los Angeles on a main street, bunch of cars, fucking middle of the day. Uh, I'm sorry, in the morning when people are going to work. This guy is honking at me, bro, like crazy honking at me and talking shit. And I'm telling him, like, what? Like, what do you want me to yeah, do? Uh. And there's a specific foreman that I know. And <laughs> he went. Uh, he backed me up. Okay. He went in the middle of the street and he went in front of that car and he said, like, like, what's up? Like, what? Like, what are you going to do? Like, what? And that guy stopped honking. And I was like, damn, thank you. Yeah, I got into a little altercation recently. Wait, oh, I went, what's what happened? I do not uh, see. I remember there was an episode like a few weeks ago. I was like, "Fuck, oh, I had something to tell you, but I totally forgot." This was it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. So, there's a at my work. It, it always gets clogged up, right there. And what city do you work in? A Drupa Valley. Okay. Rupa Valley, there you go. And at the left turn, I was not missing that shit because I fucking hate waiting for that light. It's forever. So I fucking got in, and I was behind the semi truck, just by Did literally you like. Trip? A big ass truck. So he he was over the crosswalk, and I was right behind him on the crosswalk. But no one ever walks there, so I, I block it every time. This guy just started talking the fucking horn at me. I was like, bro, you gotta cross two lanes before you even turn into yours. I'm not even blocking you. And he just kept honking at me, and I kept honking at me. And I was like, what the fuck are you gonna do? And he was like, Bleh. and he just looks at me, and I roll my window down. I was like, dude, you can fucking go. You could fucking go, you idiot. And he was like. And that was it. I just started yelling at him. I was what, fucking pissed. What a piece yeah. of shit. Dude, but you, like, he literally has to cross over two lanes just to get into his lane. So I wasn't even blocking anybody. I wasn't even blocking nobody. You know what? He, he just wanted to hug. He's probably having a bad day. Yeah, good for him. I hope it was worse. <laughs> he's probably having a bad he's day. He's probably going home living right there by the Jack in the Box and shit. Yeah, yeah have fun yeah. with that. Fuck have you guy. guys seen that Family Guy episode where it's a... Uh, Asian girl, she says, oh, I, I turned now. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like an Asian That's lady. Great. Just doesn't give a fuck. It's great. That was funny. I love Family Guy, dude. Family Guy, they don't care. Is Family Guy still rocking and rolling? I think so. Are they? I think so. I'm not sure. I'm not. Let's listen. Because I know Simpsons was insanely the Simpsons? long. The Simpsons? How did you say it? Simpsons. The Simpsons. My girlfriend says the Simpsons. 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 I'm pretty Pe- sure there's a simp in there. Pizza? Pizza? Yeah, do you say there's pizza? A, there's she a simp in there. Says, I don't say pizza. I say pizza. 
Yo, we got flame. <laughs> we we got flame for that. For, for say pizza? No, for for hating on people that say pizza. Say pizza, you want? I love my pizza people. No. Yeah, uh, people. obviously, obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously, we don't be hating on them and shit, you know. But um, just say it right. Pizza. I Does your, oh yeah, we're checking this. Everyone says cat soup. Family shit. guy. No. Cat soup. Ketcha. Well, they get mad when we say. You, t- you said cat soup. No, cousins. Ah. Uh, ketcha. Mom is ketcha. What are you talking about? We're talking about how his mom says ketchup. 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 Now, what? What? My girlfriend makes fun of me the way I say yellow. How do you say yellow? He just said it. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> it's like he just answers the phone saying yellow. Oh, uh-huh, yellow. <laughs> are they still going? Yellow. Are, is Family Guy still current? Okay. I don't know. It doesn't say. We're going to say they are. I, I literally, yeah, they stopped. They stopped. They stopped. Yep. We're just going to say they stopped. But that's that's one of those shows that it's going to go down in history as one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, shout out South Park. In my opinion. They're shout out guys. South Park no, 2. No, keep, it says season 11, episode 9, unless that's a rerun. That's definitely a rerun, dude. Definitely a rerun. I've, I, There's definitely more than 11 seasons. They're canceled. Right? Daddy's Dungeons going to take over. Because <laughs> yeah. South Park pushes the limits. Dude, oh, they, they, they got canceled. Funny. They got can- canceled, right? Did you see that? <laughs> no. They got canceled like during COVID. I didn't see that either. Yeah. So Over what exactly? Just them being racist and stuff. Just being South Park. Just being South Park. And they put out a memo. They said, uh, we're sorry, but we're not going to stop. If you don't like the stuff that we put, don't watch us. And they left it at that. Facts. Dude, you can't get canceled oh, if, if, if you, if you want to allow them. Facts. What's the funniest That's South true. Park episode? No idea. Can tell you. Have you guys seen the one where the 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 the, the Japanese guy opens up a ch- a yeah, <laughs> I, I believe it's a, a a I don't know. He opens up. There's a Chinese guy and a city, Japanese city guy, walk. and they a city walk. A Japanese guy opens up a city walk across the street from a Chinese guy's sushi spot. Uh-huh. I think I believe. Uh-huh. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, and dude, it's it's great. My one of my favorites was the human sentai pad. Centipede. Oh, that's nasty. Why, why, why did you say sentai pad? It's so a sentai said, pad. Yeah. Is it called a centipede? No, yeah, well, it's it just that. a play. It's just a play oh, off of it. The, oh, sentai! I see that. He's like talking about the cuttlefish or the vanilla paste. <laughs> I don't really remember anything in particular. I do about it's, South it's Park. A, it's not really my favorite. I loved how they made they made see these really graphic songs, uh-huh. right? And I would listen to these as a kid. I specifically remember um, there was one of my neighbors who. It's actually a neighbor that introduced me into a lot of the heavy music that I listen to now. Um, he also put these rips of the South Park songs in the DVD, That's awesome. in the CD. Uh-huh. So there's a bunch of songs like Uncle Fucker, right? I love that song. Then like um, <laughs> your, your Mom's a Bitch, there, uh-huh. there's one like that too. I heard that. Or um, Guy Hell's Mom, She's a Big Fat Bitch, She's the Biggest Bitch in the Whole Wide World. That's what it is, right? Dude, that was perfect. There's only like one thing that I that I remember clearly and it's about Rush, actually. So they're from Canada, the guys. And Rush is a Canadian band, the, the three gods of Canada, right? And uh, for their anniversary, like, the, one of the guys' birthdays, he loves Rush. So South Park has a few episodes with Lil Rush in it, and they're all the members, right? And then it goes, like, uh, Cartman, he's uh, he's Getty Lee, right, the singer? And he starts saying Fire. the... Yeah, he starts saying the Tom Sawyer, but he's saying the lyrics wrong. And then they're like, oh, it's not those lyrics, jackass. And he's like, yes, it is. I'm Getty Lee. I can do whatever I want. And then the, the banner lifts up, and all Rush starts playing, like, in real life. It was fucking awesome. They did it like an introduction. A that. real awesome. rush. Yeah, so oh. so they surprised him, the guy, the creator with that. So they were doing like a special anniversary episode and they were showing it on a big screen for thousands of fans. And he was just sitting there, like the creators. And then he had no idea Rush was coming, so they lifted up the screen and Rush actually started playing Tom Sawyer after. Dude, awesome. that is badass, that is awesome. bro. Wow. Know that is, I don't want to watch it now. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll watch it after. It's so awesome. But like, dude, just imagine the biggest guys from Canada in the music industry made a tribute for the biggest guy from Canada in the cartoon <laughs> and entertainment cartoons? industry. Yeah, so basically... Okay, I have like, a question. No, no, Did no, they no. make him the Canadian so, heads? No, no, no. No? Oh, that, that, that would have been good. That would have been good, was, too. All I, I <laughs> Why did they do that? I don't That's remember true. who was who, but I know for sure that Carmen was Getty Lee. There's only three of them in the band. So I know for sure Carmen was a singer, but I don't remember who else was there. But it was awesome. That's awesome. It was awesome. awesome. And the guy you know, started, like, crying. I want to see that, dude. I've never seen that before. That is sick. 
That's badass. Badass. You, you guys ever get those videos on Instagram and it's like the two guys talking? It's like, oh, if, if you ever had to go back in time to a concert, like what concert would it be? Woodstock. You ever seen those? Woodstock. Which, Which one? one? 99 uh, or 69? Dude, the, no, fucking 69, dude. Where, 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 um, where uh, ZZ Top and uh, fucking awesome. um, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. That'd be so sick. Yeah, the Star Spangled Banner. What about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Me? Wow. Mm. I'd probably say Sign of Fear 2022. Uh, Gulch? Yeah. Honestly, that's fire. You, that's yeah, have you seen that? Uh, no, nah, but I, I've Holzer told me about Gulch, and I've listened to one of their albums, fire. and it was great. I don't know which one it is, but it looks like a painting, and like some guy sitting on a table, like it looks really kind of evil. With the fountain? I can't really, um, I can't get the name off the top of my head, but th- that Sound and Fury 2022. My favorite song with them is in my heart. Need that. Need that. I would go back in time. Go back in time for Just that? Just two years. There. Burning Desire to Draw the Last. That's, that's, that's a fun Oh, dude. That's, that's an amazing that. album. I yeah. never heard anything else besides that one. I threw that one on one morning. They have, they have a collab with Tsunami. The one right next to it. They're actually really good friends. Yeah. But they are no more. And uh, will that, not oh, be yeah, anymore. Uh, yeah. Um, so, hey, every, up, Transformers fan? Sorry. every time I comment, Rush Rio 2002. Rush Rio 2002. Rush. How big was that? Huge. Huge. They sell out arenas, like thousands Rush of them. Yeah. So they were they went to Rio, Brazil, right? And my dad has, I'm sure one of these days when you come over, my dad will give you the sound test. You've done it. You've done the sound test. Uh-huh. My dad sits you right in the middle of the couch and he's like, listen how loud this shit gets. And the whole house just starts shaking. And there's a, it's like a little cinematic movie before the, the thing starts. And he makes you sit and watch that shit. I grew up with a father, a stepdad. He's no longer, but I grew did grow up with a step, my ex stepfather. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, he um, he I he showed me like surround sound systems, and I saw so he used to tell me like sit right here and we would and dude uh, he would tell me like sit on me would just be us two like sit on the couch together and he would bump transformers dude. That would, oh, that's crazy, oh, dude. Oh. Was, dude, like when it first came out and I was I was I mean you guys are younger than me. It was uh, I was like fuck. I don't know, 13, 14. But I can't even imagine those crazy ass sounds Dude, that awesome. those, those robots you make know what I right in your my ear. Favorite, my favorite part of, of, of Transformers is when Starscream, it's kind of like at the end, when Starscream goes up in the middle between those buildings and he transforms in the sky. Oh, and yeah. It's all boom. Dude, that's probably so loud. Yeah, it's like. Are you, a, are you an enemy guy or are you a hero guy? My favorite Star Wars character is Darth Vader. Respect. What about you? My like, favorite Star Wars character? You an enemy guy or hero guy? Because, for example, but, right? But I don't... Obviously, yes, there, yes, there, there is a Batman, right? This is just an example. There is a Batman, and he has fans, but there is a Bane, I and mean, he yes, has fans. I, I'm a hero guy. You're a hero guy? Yeah. I like to be a hero guy, too, because I, I'm a good person, genuinely, at heart, but I understand what the what the villain went through. Like, he got fucked over at one point. Yeah, oh, totally. You, you ever watch an Arnold who? Naruto? Yeah, I grew up watching Naruto. Who's your favorite but... character? We've all watched Kakashi. Them. That's pretty good. I like Itachi. That's great. I like Itachi. I like Kakashi. I, I, I like the whole story behind... Uh, I mean, I'm not... I don't want anybody to think I'm, I'm... I do not like anime at all. I That was like like when I was younger, but um, I do not even watch that at all. I can't even stand it now. Like, if I were to watch it, I cannot watch it. So you, if I even put on a fight for you, you wouldn't watch it? Why is that? Fuck no. Just the fight. No talking. Fuck no. I can't. I just can't watch cartoons. I can't watch WWE. I can't watch cartoons. I can't even. Watch, I have a hard time watching TV shows. I already told Hoser. Yeah, me too. Also, oh, it's just s- s- sitting still and watching something in general, or no, is it the, 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 the genre just, exactly? Just a, yeah, it's just a genre. I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I just don't like it. That's fair. Okay. Just like I wouldn't listen to. I know you guys listen to like uh, Taylor Swift. Like, uh-huh. I just wouldn't listen to it. Uh-huh. I don't think it's bad music. Does your girl listen to it? No, nah, my girlfriend listens to like. Hey, wait. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend listens to Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> she listens to Jaffa a Cowboy. Yeah. She listens to that stuff. <laughs> oh, you can do that shit? That was, no. pretty, that was pretty good. I can't do that. Sounded great. Oh, he does great not... at the job site. Oh, dude, I'm just walking around doing it 24 7. So he's like moaning in people's ears and you're doing his wheels. <laughs> Daddy! By the way, um, Hoser. I listened to Momentum today. Fire. Great song. I heard a great song by them. I don't know what song. I, I told Hoser that I wasn't really a big fan of the fucking singing. Uh-huh. Great song, one of them. I don't even remember what song it was. I was too into, you know, I had a, a hard day today, so I didn't get to. But I looked at my phone, and I'm like, who is that? And it said Momentum. See, there's like a... I, told, I have like these... I have to really listen to them. 
to like. Me too. I told Holzer, I was like, dude, oh. I, don't, I don't like tsunami. I told him that when I first started hardcore, I was like, eh, I don't like. Remember, you, you know that. And then I got into him heavy, and I was like, they're fire. Dude, that's how me and Big uh, Big Boy were. Now I, I heard FNS, and then I heard. Uh, uh, I just feel like you have speeds. to really give it a try. You do. One hundred percent. That goes for anything. Yeah. That goes for anything. You know. I don't like Valley Girl. You Did know you? what? I've only heard them once, and I don't remember. I don't remember my opinion. Love them. Are they? Are they on? Are they on? I'm love them. That that's they're, not on they're not on streaming services. They're not on streaming services. Bro, the dude from the neighborhood, hook it up, brother. They're, they're not my favorite. They're right. They're not my they're favorite at though. the moment, but they're amazing. I hey, lo- dude, I'm looking forward to that Bayway concert in in LA. That's where it is in LA. It's a big dog compound. Uh-huh. Bad dog compound, I think. Yeah. Are we all just gonna roll together or what? We'll roll together. We can take my uh, SUV if you want. We can absolutely roll together. I'm not gonna fit my other car. Well, you won't. What, what's what are you saying? I'm too fucking fat? No, you're too fucking tall. <laughs> but you're like four of me. <laughs> dude, that's a death trap in there. No, actually, I, okay, I agree. It's a coffin. Yeah. I agree. It's hard to see out of. Oh, uh, Camaro has one of the highest ratings of, uh, um, what is it called? Um, Blind spots. Blind spots. Worst, one of the worst cars. My girlfriend oh. is, like, my girlfriend, I think, is, like, one foot two. She has a really hard time seeing out of the car. <laughs> and you can't even see behind you at all. So why'd you choose to get it? It was a, I bought it out of Impulse. Um, so I had a GT86 originally. I, I didn't buy that one out of, oh, well, I bought that one out of Impulse, too. My oh, first, those Toyotas? My, I, had, I had a couple cars. My first car was a Beamer stick. I didn't like it. Traded it. Other car was an old school Lexus. Didn't like it. Traded it. I got a 240 SX. Uh-huh. And then I, I made it look all fucking like stanced out. I put a body kit on it. Painted it uh, cherry red. Ford, Ford cherry red. Uh, I, it was slammed to the floor. Uh, rims back staggered. Um, I had two 12s on the back. It was a hatchback. Dope car. Stop working on me. I don't know how to fix cars. I don't have time for that. Um, I don't. I really don't. I, that's when I started the trade at the time. So I didn't have time to fix it. So I let go of it. And then I got a GT86. Traded that. Uh, because I joined the Okay, so you joining, you had to get a to- you, you couldn't drive Toyota there or something? Uh, that's the reason why. So I had a, a, a I joined my career. My I, That's when I, my first time in my career and I needed a car and my lease was up for that car and they weren't um, giving me a good price so I got the Camaro. You gotta get a reliable like sucker. The, think about it, do you like Not it? Not reliable. I love it, dude. Oh, dude, I love it. It's a, it's a people don't like it. people. I just got it just because it looked nice. I said be six. Like I'm not trying to flex. I'm not an ally swan or anything super sport or anything. It's not thing crazy. It's just I got it because it looks. Cool. It just looks dope to you. Oh, cool, you know, you it's know, a little bitch Camaro. Cool. Not gonna lie, little but Camaro. I don't care. Though. Might look cool. I'm not a racer. I'm not a racer. I'm not anything like that. So I don't even care. I'm not. I don't flex. I don't care. I'm not a car guy. Yeah, I'm not a car guy. guy either. Either. I'm not a car guy. Hey, but although it's not a racing car. You still be zooming in it? I do. I drive fast. Hey, do you be one of those loudest fucking cars on the on in LA? No, I I don't like exhaust. No exhaust for me. I I'm a keep it low as you sleep. As quiet as possible. Guy. I'm a sleeper guy. I love sleepers. Like that 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 car that's in the backyard is. Uh-huh. Oh, dude! I fell in love. I even when I, as soon as I got back to the woods, my eyes lit up and I said, Yeah, for it. real. What? I was like, is that a Camaro? I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, that car's dope. Sleeper build. The Volkswagen's fast as fuck. That's not a sleeper. What do you mean it's not a sleeper? Oh, dude, that thing. Bro, it's a, it's a, it's a mid-engine drive. Dude, those back Volkswagen. tires. Those back tires say it all. The Volkswagen. Back, dude, those, no, I'm talking about the um, Camaro. The Camaro. Those, those back oh, tires. Oh yeah. Oh, that. You see the back tires are like this big. I don't know. I've never, never even heard it run. Never heard it run. Will we ever? Pro- oh yeah, totally. You think so? Oh yeah. Honestly, my dad is just waiting for the guy to just forget about it. Honestly. Playing the playing the long game. Now when do we when do we have to play the long game? My dad said after a year he's gonna try to get it off him. When do you when do you do you ever play the long game? No. What about you? Have you I ever played the long game? I played a long game. I'm playing a long game where right now and he's gonna find out as soon as he hears his podcast, but if he listens to it. My homie uh, Christian, he lent me a, a, a controller for my PlayStation and I never get back to him. <laughs> he's like, Oh, that's I still a have your controller, work. Christian. Well he let me borrow it, he's just never asked for a bag. You're just borrowing it for an extended amount of time. I've known him for fucking like. Now, how, how about this? Did you forget it or did you intentionally? I forgot. Did, okay, so I then. I forgot. It didn't really seem like you were playing then. Nah, I didn't do that. You know? For this. I forgot about it. That's all right. Where's he at now? Probably at home taking that shit. But like around here? He's in, the... he's in San Bernardino. He's oh, a good see, guy, he's not man. He can come get it whenever he wants. Or you can take it whenever he wants it. Or ship it to him. He gave it to me. Yeah, he gave it to you. He gave it to you. <laughs> he gave it to me. Hey, so what do you think about that situation at work today when uh, 
when we were at work and they told you, told us what that whistle bite situation like. The whistle bite? So, yeah, so getting whistle bit, right? I don't know if you know what that is, that? but getting whistle bit is pretty much if we have a destined time that we're supposed to be out of work, it's going past that time, that uh-huh. designated time. That's getting whistle bit or snake bit, whatever. Um, but anyways... Us up in the tower, we're on level 30 right now. Okay. It's going to be a 55-story building. So uh-huh. as we're going up, it's only going to get worse and worse. Because the only time the elevator ever focuses on people is at the very bottom and at the very top. It gets filled at the top on the way down. Oh, so you're fucked. And we can never catch it, right? And so we have to end up walking down the fucking stairs, 30 flights of stairs. on our flights, bro. At the end. And those are like the the... Kind of shitty uh, scaffolding stairs, right? No, no, no there's they're they're concrete stairs. Okay. They're the they're the no, they're real already. Yeah, it's, they're legit. But it's just the fact that you have to walk down thirty flights of stairs and then back up after your whole no, fucking shift. It's down. Oh, so you guys just take lunch on your floor? Oh no, we will not walk back up. I'll no, we'll say fuck you. Yeah, no, no and we'll and we will we don't go down there to take lunch either because it takes forever, and uh, we know how people feel about us taking lunch down there. I do. What do you mean? No, it's because, I mean, they want us to save as much time as possible. Yeah. So. They want us to be, they're pretty thorough about how long we should be having our lunch breaks. If it's 30 minutes, they said it's 30 minutes. They didn't say 31 minutes. They didn't say 32 minutes. They didn't say 31, 30 seconds, bro. If you don't have, like, if you're not with your lunchbox on you walking to your room at 30. You're fucked. Why aren't you in your room Uh working? It's not that you're fucked, but you're going to get eyes on you. Yeah, automatically. Oh, so all, like, the old heads, like, point your shit out? No. No. It's so, just... It's, so you get, like, it's a 28-minute break. It's, a, it's, a, it's the hierarchy that's pointing it out. It's you the, get a 28-minute hierarchy, break. hierarchy walks around, and they see the apprentices, and they walk around, and they watch the journeyman. The hierarchy watches over the lower people, and they realize who's slow, who's this, who's that, who's taking break this long, who's taking that. <laughs> They're on it like that. That's the hierarchy. You know what that is? That's bird watching. It's bird yeah. dogging, I'm sorry. That's what they call it. Is that what it's called? Bird dogging, I yeah. I heard of that. Like the, like, the, like the pants? No, so bird dogging, like pretty bird much. Dogs? Like, well, you know, you know how a dog is like when he sees a bird, just instantly just locks on it, right? Bird dog. A dog you never heard of bird dogs? Nope. You never heard of bird dogs? Pants? Wow. Levi Strauss. Shorts. Ben Davis. Did you remember, you remember, remember bird dogs? I remember bird dogs. That's, that's, that's OG. Never, never bought them. Never bought them, but. Never bought them, never, was never OG. a supporter. I have a kid. But if you'd like to send us some to go ahead and kids. try them out, I would gladly try out your pants and shorts. But if you have a slim straight though, no, not that tight shit. You guys wear baggier pants. Yeah, I, I wear skinny pants. I wear baggy but pants. you're a skinny dude. That's probably why. I have some baggy pants that actually I haven't worn in a long time, and I found a. Way to I feel like you would wear those pants that are like super wide at the bottom. Me? Like I, big, that's big, weird. big boy pants. Oh, me? Yeah. Like tight at the at the top, and I'm talking about like some young, young, like young, young boy NBA shit. Young, I think he just wears tights. No. I don't know. Young boy never broke again. He'll be broke one day. Probably. I'm sure. Nah, dude, he makes a lot of money. Hopefully not. Hopefully he knows how to manage the money. Hopefully. You know? I don't know how to manage money. I suck at it. I spend it on a lot of things. <laughs> but uh, you ready to go, brother? I am ready. Are you ready to go, brother? I'm ready to go, brother. All right, brothers. Dude, thank you so much, guys. Special for teams. Me. Special players. <laughs> special player. Ricky, special play. Fucking hit us with the outro, bro. Anything you want, brother. Anything you want to say now? Oh, actually, we have two questions for you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Before we go. Oh. Poser. I mean, I think you're first question. Yeah, you're not. We don't gotta read it. Please. Hold on. We ask these to every fucking guest. Okay, I'm sure you've heard them. I hope you know. Okay. I'm sure you've heard the questions already. It'll be a hard question. They're not very hard. Who is your hero? And why? My hero is my father. Okay. My hero is definitely my dad. I had no hesitation saying that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's because um, I wouldn't be here where I'm at today. I no. would not be where I'm at today. Um, he taught me the way of the trade. He taught me how to. What is a father supposed to do? He's supposed to teach you how to be a man. He taught me how to be a man, how to be a hard worker, and uh, that's what I am. I, I believe myself and I'm a hard worker. I try to be. Uh-huh. So, you know, I would say my dad. Shout out, dad. Shout out, dad. Shout out, dad. Dads. Hell All yeah. Dads. All dads are really, you know, dads don't really get that much credit. Never. It's usually single moms. That's cool, you know. I shout out single moms too. I Absolutely. Respect that. Some single moms have two, you know, but dads too. Come on. Got to give credit where credit is due. All right, sorry. To, and uh, what else? Another one? You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so 
if you had to talk to your past or your future self, who would you talk to and what would you talk about? It's only one com- one combo. My past. Okay, why? What would you what would you talk about? What would you tell What yourself? would you tell him? <laughs> I would tell myself to uh, not have the habits that I have uh, now that I'm older. I have a lot of bad habits. I feel like uh, you can erase that at an early age, uh-huh. but I feel like the way you grow up, sometimes it just it just happens. It just happens, you know. Life happens. Life happens. That's what it is. That's not an excuse, though. You can always change your life if you see something bad in your life. You can always change it. Don't be afraid. But you know, like I'm trying to be a Christian man. I'm trying to. It's hard. I'm trying to do it, but it's really hard for me. But um, yeah, thank you guys for your time. Appreciate it. You guys you are amazing. You want, you thank want, thank you, you for coming on. on. It's been great having you, brother. Honestly, thank you, Hoser, because without you, it wouldn't happen. I wouldn't yes, have sir. met you. Yes, sir. I wouldn't have met you, and you're, you're, dude, you're an amazing. Fr- he ta- I t- he talks about you all the time. You're an amazing friend. I talk about you all the time to him. Who all the time. Don't. But <laughs> this has been episode 107 here. If you want to plug yourself for anything, maybe you want to let the people know what you're doing at all or anything. No. No. Catch his ass at big ass truck in two weeks. Catch his ass at big ass truck in two yeah. weeks and Bayway and mm-hmm. later. Yeah. But um, peace, y'all.